Mr. Shadow Stories 96 here with another video. I'm going to be talking about a newly shown Hot Toys item, and this time it is going to be Scarlet Witch, her Civil War costume. So yeah, so um, this uh, so basically here I'm going to be talking about this promo image as well as uh, her actually on display at a Civil War toy event. Hot Toys has been put on like a pop-up store for, uh, promoting Civil War. Uh, it's going to be up for about two weeks here. They showed mainly everything that we've already seen, um, but they did show Scarlet Witch in her new costume as well as Crossbones. Um, I'll be making two other videos, one video just to talk about the event in general, and then one video uh, to talk about Crossbones, and this video, which is going to be talking about Scarlet Witch, the, the, uh, um, the two new things that they showed I'm basically making their own videos for. So first of all, this was the first image that was uh, put out yesterday, and uh, it you know, nice image of course, very exciting to see all the characters together, and with a you know background that uh, matches the airport battle which is very cool. We have Iron Man and uh, Captain America looking at each other in the center with their teams behind them. Um, all of these figures have been shown before except for Scarlet Witch. This was the first time that we are seeing and getting confirmation that they are making a Civil War Scarlet Witch figure and they weren't just doing that end uh, scene Age of Ultron uh, uh, um, Scarlet Witch uh, to accompany the Civil War toy line. So this is very exciting. First of all, just the picture in general, they all look quite nice. The, the picture of Vision, that just looks like the same picture that we've seen from the Age of Ultron shots, so I'm not quite sure if they are using the same image uh, that they use for that figure, or if that is actually the new one. Uh, it looks identical to the original, so nothing too special there. We get a nice another shot of Sc uh, Black Widow, of course, who hasn't gone on pre-order yet. She's looking really good. The rest of these figures have gone on pre-order, and this figure doesn't show any Anything, uh, you know, new or different that we then uh, we've already seen. Scarlet the Witch herself though was looking really nice. I like her costume from Civil War a lot. Um, I like the Age of Ultron one. Uh, it was more real world, which I liked about it. Uh, this one is more of a costume, which I like. And uh, so you know. It kind of depends on what type of uh, look you like better, whether a real, real world type of look or a costume superhero type of look. Uh, I, you know, like them both for different reasons, so I am considering buying this one as well. Typically with these figures, I like to get just one good version of them, and then that's about it. I, I don't like to buy multiple versions of the same character, other than like Iron Man. Uh, but with the other characters, I like to just stick with one. Um, but Scarlet Witch and Ant-Man, I am considering getting the new version. The new version looks very nice. I do like, uh, just in this picture, the corset looks like a really uh, very dark but like kind of a metallic silky type of look, which I think looks really nice in this image. And the jacket looks more of like a yet leather, which is very nice. Head sculpt seems to be the same one, or just about the same one that they uh, use for the um, that end scene Scarlet Witch. Alright, here she is actually on display at the event. Looking really nice in person, you know, uh, I think that, uh, you know, her colors are more bright. I, I like them a bit more muted and kind of darker in that promo image. However, she still does look really nice in person. It looks like she's going to be hindered in articulation, uh, especially in the thighs, the thigh areas. She's wearing, you know, kind of a, a tight kind of leather uh, for the pants. So I have a feeling the thighs are going to be quite hindered. Knees will probably be decent amount hindered, and I would guess the ankles will be hindered as well, especially since her foot really really isn't off to a big angle here, yet it's not flat on the floor. So either the person who um, who posed this figure didn't do a good job, or her ankles won't have uh, very good articulation. We'll have to see. Torso, that looks like she's got, it looks like she's uh, got a nice kind of uh, bend in the torso there. So hopefully that won't be hindered, and it doesn't look like it'll be hindered. Um, shoulders and elbows, hopefully they did them like the Civil, or like the Age of Ultron one, and therefore it won't be hindered. They've got her in a nice pose here with her arms um, so just by this shot it doesn't look like they're hindered but they might just be stressing the costume really bad uh, but I, I would have a feeling that from the torso up articulation is going to be really good and from the torso down it's, the articulation is going to be really bad basically so we'll have to see if you want a really nice well articulated Scarlet Witch the first one is definitely going to be the one for you however if you like the more costume version this is definitely going to be the cooler one she does seem to be using the same effect magical pieces that the first one came with they might just be using them 
to uh, display her with here and she might come with new ones or most likely I think she'll probably just come with the same ones over again. Um, I would hope that they do give us new ones though especially since her powers are a bit different in this movie from what we've heard and it would be nice to get a uh, different accessory pieces to make you know people who bought the first one more enticed to buy this new one myself included so we'll have to see. Um, and then there is a new Scar the Witch of course that I, I did already talk about but I thought I'd mention just as a comparison here to the other ones that have been shown. Um, this one, really kind of interesting looking costume, however, obviously was only in the, the movie for seconds. Uh, and it, you know, it's, and in that movie she had a much more, uh, uh, she had a costume that was used much more, so this is definitely going to be the Scarlet Witch figure that gets neglected. Uh, it, it is an exclusive, so it's limited, which is smart on their part, because if this was a regular figure, I think that uh, it wouldn't sell very well, especially since there's just two costume ones that are more iconic and uh, just look better, in my opinion. But I do, you know, this does look like a decent figure. If you were going to get all three, it would look pretty awesome to have the three Scarlet Witch costumes all standing in a row, but uh, that's a lot of money just to have, just to show her different costumes. However, I do have the original Age of Ultron version of her, and I am thinking that there's a very high possibility that I will be getting this one as well. Hopefully she comes with some interesting accessories. Um, I hope they don't just do the standard base and the reused magic accessories. Hopefully, uh, you, know, I'm a, you know, I expect the standard base, but hopefully they do come out with some newer and more interesting uh, magical accessories. But her costume itself looks really cool, and that is why I am definitely very much considering getting, uh, getting this version as well. So there you go, those are my thoughts on this Civil War version of Scarlet Witch. Thanks for watching and uh, let me know what you guys think of this figure.